Happy New Year, Photoshoppers. Welcome home. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you a simple word art. This word art, we get a start at the simple. On my future tutorials, I'll be teaching you complex word art, like a 3D effect, and uh, more complex things. But we're gonna start with the, the simple things. Okay, let's get in the house. Okay, we're gonna open our Photoshop application in this session. In this session, I will detail you on the relationship between the size and the resolution of the of the design you're gonna make. Right now, we're gonna make a tarpaulin size design, three feet by four feet. You gotta keep in mind when in designing, so it's three feet by four feet. So we're gonna make a custom design for tarpaulins. Forty-eight inches is four feet. Four feet for the width, and the height is three feet, so thirty-six inches. It's very important to remember that when you're making a big, a bigger size, bigger size design for tarpaulins who exceeded the A4 size, you can set the resolution to 80 because it's okay. It will not be pixelated anymore because when you're gonna set the resolution still to 300, it's, it's, the file is gonna be too heavy to save. And if the resolution is, and if the size of the design you're gonna make is A4. Or smaller, you're gonna make the resolution to 300 to not make it pixelated. Keep that in mind. And then there's our background. I just downloaded a free a free image of fireworks, a white fireworks. And the tools we're gonna use now are the rectangular tools, the move tool, the marquee tool, and the layers. I in this in this tutorial I will detail you to the layers into the layering. The layer properties of of Photoshop and also the type tool. I will walk you through the layers, the very important uh, one of the very important parts of Photoshop, functions of Photoshop. And then we can drag our downloaded firework image to our blank tarpaulin canvas. And then we're gonna resize it to match the tarpaulin size. And it's very important to keep in mind again, like I said in my previous tutorial, not to distort the image. You have to, you gotta just click shift and then resize and then drag to resize the image, not distort it. It's very amateur to, res to distort or to stretch an image in Photoshop. And then we're gonna type our word art now, our message in our design. Happy New Year! I hope this year will be good to all of us. All of the, all of the bad happenings in the other years, so annoying. <laughs> really, we really need to pray to God to give us guidance and blessings in this year. There you go. And we can also stretch our word art, our littering, and it's for them to to control shift it. And there's another another littering. God bless this year. There you go. It, this is this session is pretty simple, by the way. You can even finish it if you're really if you're really used to used to using Photoshop. You can finish it in, in like five minutes. And now we go to the layers, but first we're gonna change the font. I'm setting it to an Arial Black to make uh, like a pop, so it will, it will pop, it will be emphasized in the design because the important subject of the design is the littering, the word art, to emphasize the message. Now there it is, I'm double clicking the layer so we can change the properties of the layer, of the letters. And there's our many functions in there, you get drop shadow. But we're only, only gonna use like four functions or three functions. There's drop shadow. In there you can you can explore and click through the functions of the properties. You can see the effects. And it's 
it's, and it's important to remember to, to keep in mind in designing word art or whatever it's better to keep it simple and elegant rather than to keep it colorful and and it's kind of chaotic in my own opinion it's better to keep it simple and uniform with the background so it got color harmony in here in our design I'm using blue and cool color so I'm making my design quite cool quite cool like blue and white and it's very amateur to mix up the colors that didn't match now I'm there's a function inner glow satin Regent. You can just explore to yourself. You can learn from the functions. And there is a gradient. It will give you like a metallic effect and pattern. But we only gonna use, like I said, a simple, simple, simple functions in both to make like a 3D effect. The color over overlay, stroke, and drop shadow. That's the only functions of the properties of the layers we're gonna use. So we're using cool colors now, blue and white. I'm adjusting it, the embos, I'm embossing it to make a 3D effect. And the drop shadows to make it more convincing enough to be a 3D effect. And the stroke, I make it darker to make it pop more, to make the Happy New Year littering emphasize, emphasize more. I think we're done with the Happy New Year word art. And then we go to the God Bless 2021. I think I'm making a change in the color of this. I make it into a yellow to emphasize it too. To give like a, like a... Like another style. To give a style to the design. I make it to a yellow. I like an orange. I, bl I just blend it too. Although blue and orange is quite, it's quite a good combination too. You just gonna listen the combination is like for like three colors or four colors you can really see it in the design if, if it has color harmony it, it didn't like it won't it won't see as a very chaotic design it will make it a very amateur design and the message is cannot be seen clearly or conveyed clearly so color harmony is very important I use orange because it kind of work too and it emphasizes the God bless 2021 the year 2021 it's pretty simple I just use like I used on, on happy new year design I just didn't use the embossed function and then it's done I just use the stroke the color overlay of course is like a golden orange and uh, and, and the drop shadow final touches and then and there there's the layering you can make it invisible to make it clear which layer or which layer are you are you editing and I'm adding up like a line to make it adding to the design and then we're almost done and then stroke again to thicken the line with the blue color on, on the future on, on the future tutorials I'm gonna make I will I will give you the complete the complicated editing word art editing like a very 3d effect like you saw like you seen in the internet or whatever more complex editing but now we gotta start it simple, of course. Okay, blue again. Like I've always said, in Photoshop, in editing, the sky's the limit. Almost everything you can do in Photoshop, from word art to everything. I think that will be it. And we're gonna save it to a JPEG file because there's nothing. We're not gonna edit anymore. PDS file. If you're if if we're continually editing a design, a complicated a complicated a complicated editing like Victor or the 3D effects, the 3D designs, quite complicated. This you can send it to your 
start from the design or, or you can make it into a card then we're gonna save it to JPEG there you go I hope you all have a good holiday it's time for work again and there's our final output our printable by the way this image is printable ready for printing in the tarpaulin shops it's really seated and that ends the session for this day word art and reminders setting the size and resolution is very important in photoshop to make your design output very clear not pixelated okay guys god bless like i've always said hard work forever pays this is me daryl adios